Old Caitlin Dory was hit by a car while crossing a street in Bridgeport Friday. There are still a lot of unanswered questions, but tonight the Sacred Heart community is focusing on the loss of their classmate. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live in the New Haven newsroom tonight with more on how the school is handling the loss. Josh? Aaron, you'd be hard pressed to find someone at Sacred Heart who hasn't heard of the news, and students tell me they're trying to move forward by coming together. On Madison Avenue in Bridgeport, a bouquet of flowers in a note marks the area where a young woman was hit by a car Friday afternoon. It's, it's just tragic, you know. Her name, Caitlin Dury, a 20-year-old Sacred Heart University student in her junior year from Mattituck, New York. Police say all she was trying to do was cross the roadway with a friend when somehow a car traveling on the same stretch of pavement hit her. Because it could have happened to any of us. Dory's friend was uninjured, but in shock over what had happened, a feeling that his news spread of the incident was shared by all those connected to the Sacred Heart campus. Her fellow classmates had been hoping and praying for a speedy recovery. Friday evening, more than 700 people even turned out to a vigil being held in her honor. The vigil last night speaks for itself. Um, just everyone coming together, showing support for her and her family. But despite what the desired outcome may have been, News 8 has learned Dory passed away. It's just sad to think about that she's not going to be around anymore. Uh, it's just terrible to have a kid come back to school. Uh, probably an exciting time for the student and her family. Um, if something that tragic to happen just touches home. The president of Sacred Heart has also weighed in on the loss, sending out this statement to students and faculty. In part, it reads, quote, as you can imagine, my thoughts have been a jumble of love for her and sorrow for Caitlin's family and friends and for the loss of such a vibrant member of our community. I am thinking of the members of the class of 2018 who are moving in this weekend and hearing this sad news on a day that should be all about excitement and expectations, end quote. But while the heartbreak felt by members of the Sacred Heart community is understandable, some say they hope the school takes action to make sure roadways near campus where students live are made safer for pedestrians. I think with all of the infrastructure that's going on, I think the school should step back a minute, uh, reflect on what happened, and think about creating some sort of a underground tunnel so the kids can safely cross the street without worrying about the traffic. No arrests have been made at this time. Police telling us the investigation into what happened is still ongoing. A mass will be held tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the evening in the Chapel of the Holy Spirit, Spirit dedicated to Dory. In the New Haven newsroom, Josh Scheinblum, News 8.